and Nan secretly gave birth inside the monastery. Princess Maria, what's going on in there? Open up. Shh, little one. Mom will save you. Exhausted by childbirth, she hid the baby. Reverend, is something wrong? Go downstairs immediately. You have an unknown visitor. Maria trembled fearfully. Did the monster find her even at the monastery? <gasps> Fortunately, the visitor turned out to be a courier. But I didn't order anything. Surprised, Maria opened the box and... Oh! It was a message from... him. I'm giving you 48 hours head start. I'm close. The tyrant didn't know about the baby whom Maria had to hide. Hmm. That night, she went out looking for a Karen family. Yet everyone seemed dangerous to her. Except for Amber. Tearing her son from her heart, the nun left him on the doorstep. Anyone here? It's a gift from heaven. Don't call the police. In the cell, Maria hastily gathered her belongings, but the unbearable pain from childbirth confined her to bed. Oh no, not this. I don't want to go back to that hell. She felt a little better the next morning. So after taking painkillers, Mary decided to leave right away. With a heavy heart, she stole some money from donations as she had none. Suddenly, a familiar cry was heard behind her. I want to ask you something, sister. Could you hold this baby while I make a donation? The child instantly fell silent in his mother's arms. <gasps> How did you do that? He cried all night. Maria felt her breasts fill with milk. One more second, hmm. and she would give herself away. Wait, sister, are you his? Take care of the child <gasps> and say a prayer for him. There is a special one on page 128, if needed. Maria fled to another state and got rid of her habit. After settling in at a cheap motel under a false name, she waited. Still, every night she saw the terrifying green of the monster. <laughs> the same one that haunted her everywhere even in her dreams. When it seemed that danger had passed, Maria received a text message. In 
interest in prayer on page 128. By the way, why didn't he mention that we have a son? In the photo, Maria saw a familiar house as well as her child. Her heart sank with dread. But there was more. Hi, baby. Say something. I want to hear your sweet voice. You managed to escape. Will this defenseless bundle of joy be able to? As well. Please, don't touch him. It's not his fault. This is just between us. Maria rushed to protect her son, fearing she wouldn't make it in time. <gasps> hmm. Upon finding the house empty, she imagined hmm? the worst. Give me back my son, Charlie, please. Suddenly, silence was broken by a rustling sound from behind the door. Maria hid, then saw Amber on the doorstep. She was fine. And so was the baby. The monster hadn't hmm. reached them. However, <gasps> happiness didn't last long. He walked in right after. <gasps> Honey... I'm so happy I met you. This is fate. Your son looks just like me. No one will ever say that I'm not his real father. The tyrant played his hmm. part masterfully. He was just as charming as when he started dating Maria. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll go put our little angel to sleep. As soon as Amber left the room, Maria saw the green that haunted her for months again. I can smell you. Maria, the sad of fear. Where are you, dear? Come on out for your beloved. Or it will get worse. She refused to move or breathe, yet it didn't help. <sighs> Do what you want to me. Just don't touch my son. He is my son too. So I'll do whatever I wish to him. But first, I'll thank <sighs> you for trying to kill me. Maria had to defend herself while pregnant. And now she was in danger again. At the last second, Charlie's hand stopped. <gasps> Honey, who is this? If you say a word, both of you will be in a lot of pain. Do you understand? This is my old friend Mary. She's in town and will leave soon. Forever. Hmm? Charlie was playing the nice guy again, yet there was something he didn't know. Nice to meet you, Mary. Have we seen each other before? <laughs> Maria signaled Tambor, who understood immediately. <gasps> the frightened escapee blocked the door with a titanium hairpin. How did you figure it out? I overheard your conversation through the baby monitor. Keep him there, and I'll call 911. The baby was crying loudly in the nursery, but Maria couldn't get up. With each passing second, her strength dwindled. However, police came to rescue under the wire, and the tyrant was finally sent to prison. Stay here. Enough running. I have always dreamed of having a big family. Maria agreed. And for the first time in many years, she felt at peace. Life can be cruel, but never stop fighting. 
In the end, light always conquers darkness.